Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, so I am going to give you a little bit of background while we're waiting for people to join us and you can always pop back on and catch the, the rest of the info on the replay. Um, I wanted to tell you too that you have the rare opportunity of seeing me completely without makeup. Da -da -da -da. Um, I always, for me personally, I have a better application um, I have a, like a longer lasting application if I make sure that I don't have to do anything for a couple of hours after, not anything, um, any water related activities, <laughs> um, within a couple hours after I apply my jam. So I usually try to wash my face and, and be basically ready for bed, um, before I do my jams. Cause then they just kind of sit overnight and, um, they really uh, adhere nicely. Um, you don't have to do that, um, but we do recommend that you don't get them in water. Like, don't be washing dishes or don't take a shower or go swimming within, like, an hour or two after you apply. But you can do pretty much anything else. I've washed my hands, and it doesn't really make it a big impact. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's just having them submerged in warm water for a long time, um, right after application that can impact it. So anyway, um, I'm doing mine right before bed tonight and, um, I did not, I was a cheater and I didn't let you pick, <laughs> but I'll let you pick my, pick my next one. I realized when I went to look that I had to do the May host exclusive. I had to, it's so pretty and I don't know if you can tell in this light, I hate incandescent light for um, showing off wraps because really this is like it's this really beautiful pale pink mint green and like a uh, just a really true blue and then it goes into like a navy almost purple blue it's just so lovely so I had to do that one and then um, my husband usually picks on my pairings, but I also have this one, which was actually designed for me in our Jamberry Nail Art Studio by a friend of mine. Um, she was looking for ideas, and she um, posted in her, you know, fan page. And so I said, oh, I'd love a turquoise watercolor wrap. Turquoise is my favorite color, and I love watercolor texture, so that would be amazing. And so she created this for me, and she named it for me. So this is Stephanie's Lagoon. <laughs> So I'm going to be pairing those two together. Um, you don't have to pair. You can just do, you know, one solid, you know, use one sheet to do a manicure. Um, I like to pair them. I just have fun doing it. So, um, so that's my, my take on it. Um, I also have really long thumbnail beds. <laughs> so, um, when my nails get too long, I actually need more than half a wrap to do my thumbnails. Not any of my other nails, but but my thumbnails. So, um, so I, I like to mix it up just so I can um, preserve my wraps longer or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> So anyway, I'm going to walk you through our application process, um, and I did want to tell you a little bit about our nail wraps. So they're vinyl wraps with a heat-activated adhesive on the back. Um, you can't really see it, but it's there. And they are designed to last up to two weeks on fingernails and up to six weeks on toenails. I do actually have jams on my toes right now. Let's see if I can point you in the general direction of my toes. Can you see them? my jams right there <laughs> so up to six weeks on toes I don't even know if you could see that but <laughs> I should have turned it around so I could see it but that's fine um, <clears throat> so anyway uh, vinyl uh, adhesive wraps they are non-toxic they're eight free um, they are not polish so to be clear you know there's a lot of polish strips that are available in the drugstores and things like that these are not nail polish they're vinyl um, they're printed <clears throat> in our uh, factory, and they are incredibly durable, way more durable than polish, so um, at least in my experience. So we never test on animals. They're gluten-free, if that matters to you. Um, I didn't think it would matter to me until my daughter ate one. <laughs> she was like two, and she sucked it right off of her finger, and I was like, where's your jam? And she was like, ah. So... Um, <laughs> she hasn't done that in a long time though. Um, what else can I tell you about them? Um, there's no drying time once you apply them. They're ready to roll. You can do anything you want. You can get dressed. You can brush your teeth. You can, um, change a diaper. 
<laughs> I don't think any of you are doing that. You can get right in the car and drive to work and use the key and the ignition without having to worry about sponging your manicure, which I love. Um, so, yeah, pretty much win-win all around. That's why I became a consultant, because I was obsessed with them, and I figured it would be better for me to sell them than to spend all of my money on them. So... <laughs> Um, if you end up like me, then, you know, we should talk. Um, you can also do a party and get yours for free, which is pretty fun. So, um, the ones that I showed, I think the nail polishes and stuff that I showed you, I got, let's see, it was, I think at least 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 140. I think it was about $160 in product, and I got it for $30 for my last party. And that includes shipping and tax. So, just something else to consider. Um, if you find that you like what I'm talking about here this week, and you can't really uh, swing the full price tag, then, I mean, they're not expensive. <laughs> That's the other thing that I love about this. I used to go get my nails done all the time, and it was like, I only did manicures and polish, but, um, it was, you know, 20, $25 with tip every week, because, you know, they wouldn't last that long. I'm really hard on my nails, so, you know, I was spending $80 a month on my manicures, and our Jamberry, so this sheet right here will do two full manicures and two full pedicures and still have some wraps left over. Um, and this sheet right here costs $15. So if you're doing the math, it's about $4 an application, which is amazing. <laughs> so I can get my nails done for $4. I can get a pedicure for $4. Um, it's great. And, it, you know, it doesn't take that long. I will show you right now. You saw my nail prep earlier. Also, it doesn't take that long, and I have crazy cuticles, so yours may take even less time. So, now I just have to decide what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to go with more of these. That was what my husband said, because it's named after me, and that's pretty fun. So, I'm going to turn you around. We're going to use my Mac as the backdrop today, <laughs> so that we can hopefully get some focus here. Um... <clears throat> So, our first step, I told you already that I use Blue Dawn dish soap to wash my hands, wash my nails really well before I start. Um, it cuts the grease on my nails. I have really oily nail beds. If you don't have really oily nail beds, that is an unnecessary step, but you do want to start with clean nails. So, what I just did was I got our uh, nail prep cleanser. You can also use rubbing alcohol, white vinegar, anything that's going to... Um, reduce the amount of oil on your fingernails and I put it on a cotton square um, you can also get those little alcohol prep pads that they sell in the first aid aisle at CVS those are really helpful um, I like those sometimes because um, cotton tends to shred as you can see and so when I'm doing polish or gel sometimes I end up with little like cotton threads and that bugs me so I'll use the um, the oil pads, or the, the oil pads, the alcohol pads from the first aid aisle when I'm doing gel or lacquer. Um, we also, in our application kit, we sell um, pre-soaked nail wipes, nail prep wipes as well, which are amazing, and I love them so very much. Um, they're only available in the application kit, though. So I highly recommend that as well. It's pretty fun. Um, if you're wondering what comes in the application kit, it's this really adorable little purple bag. Comes with your own handy dandy pair of little scissors, which you will need a small pair of scissors for this application process. Comes with an orange stick and a branded nail file. Oh, it's upside down. Branded nail file. Da, 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 da. That doesn't want to focus. Um, a purple rubber, rubber cuticle pusher. I can't speak. <laughs> and a buffing block. So all of those things come in our regular application kit with the nail prep wipes, which I don't have down here because I've used all of mine um, at this point. But I'm using the nail prep cleanser, which works just as well. It's actually the exact same stuff. So I'm just kind of trying to dry out my nails a little bit with the cleanser make sure there's no dirt on them or anything like that oh actually I did this earlier but I'm gonna buff just a little bit make sure I've got a really smooth clean surface to 
apply my wraps to. Go back over them one more time. So this hand is ready to roll. Just gonna put that there so you can see my whole process. It's super fun. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this one. So these all come on a clear backing. You can see my hand behind the wraps. The reason for that is that you can use the clear backing to size, um, to see which size nail wrap you should be using. I hate that I cannot get this to focus ever. It makes me crazy. Um, <clears throat> down a little bit, if that's any better. <laughs> there we go. So now you can see, I can kind of size that up and see if that's the right size. You want to err on the side of a little bit smaller than your nail. Um, so you can have a, you'll have a little bit of nail showing on either side, but trust me, no one will see it. And it'll keep it from uh, getting loosened by the oils from your skin. You never want the adhesive part of the wrap to touch your skin. So then I just fold my little sheet in half and I use the orange stick to peel it up. And this is like so much longer right now because I'm talking you through it. <laughs> if I didn't have to explain it, I would have been done like four nails by now. But I am so happy to show you this because it is a game changer. Okay. Oh, my son is crying. So for me, so I'm going to show you my preferred method of application. Normally, they'll tell you to heat the wraps first until they curl. Um, if you have flat nails, that totally works. I have, I think I mentioned it before, I have curvy nails. So I have a little bit of a U shape to my nail on the underside. Um, you can really see it on my thumbnail here. It's like a... You can see that little curve, so it's not flat, it's not straight across right here. Um, so for me, I find a cold application works a little bit better. So I take it right off of the sheet and put it right on my nail. So I'm going to line it up with my cuticle line. And remember, I've already gotten my cuticle off of my nails. I'm going to kind of press it down a little bit, make sure... Press it down a little bit, make sure none of it's touching my skin. Make sure it's lined up where I want it to be. And then I'm going to use our Jamberry Mini Heater, which is also super awesome. It's so quiet. It is on and working. You can see the, <laughs> it has just a little bit of uh, projection. You can see the cotton pad is moving just a little bit. Um, you can also use a hair dryer. I know people who've used embossing tools. I know someone, <laughs> there's a girl on my team who, when she was just a customer, she actually heated her wraps with a candle. <laughs> I do not recommend that. <laughs> um, but she did it for a long time and she made it work. Um, but now she is on our team and she got a mini heater in her consultant kit. So she's doing great now. Um, anyway, so you just need some kind of a heat source. So I'm going to put my wrap in front of the heater just for a couple seconds. And then I'm going to press from base to tip right down the center. And I'm going to do the same thing on the side and on the other side. You can also use your cuticle pusher for that and not burn myself. Um, I don't actually think I could burn myself on that, but you know. So you're going to push from base to tip. And this does not want to focus at all. There we go. And from the base all around the side to the tip, and then the base down the other side to the tip. You can do a little extra around the tip as well if you want to. Um, the other thing you can do is if you see, I don't have any on this nail, but if you see any bubbles along the side, you can grab the corner of the wrap and just yank it. <laughs> These are really durable 
So you can really, really pull and stretch that and nothing's going to happen to it. So now you can see I have a lot left over. This is my teeny tiny ukulele nail. <laughs> I've already cut them down and filed them to the shape that I want. So they're really pitiful looking right now because, you know, it's my... I used to have these really gorgeous long nails. You can kind of see my thumbnails reminiscent of it. Um, <clears throat> so <laughs> I had to cut them down now that I'm playing ukulele and it makes me a little bit sad. But it's fine. So um, I usually do two or three nails and then I'll go back and address that leftover that's still there. Um, I might just cut it down a little bit, maybe in half, half of what's hanging over, just so it's not making me crazy. Um, but you don't, you want to give it a little minute to cool because they do shrink a little bit. So I'm going to let it cool off first and shrink and then I will address that tip. So I'm going to do that whole process again and I'm not going to talk about it this time. I'm just going to show it to you so you can see how fast it actually is. Should have like music or something happening. Here's the other amazing thing about this. If you mess up in your placement, you literally just peel it up and restick it. As long as you haven't heated it already. If you do the cold application, <laughs> you just peel it right up. If you did heat it already, just heat it again, and then you can move it. It's great. Putting it in front of my heater right now. There we go. Ring finger seems to be done. You'd think after two years I would know which wraps I need for which nails, but I size them up every time. Um, the really awesome thing too is that because these are so durable and, and um, customizable, um, you can take some of the bigger wraps and cut them down to fit smaller nails so you can actually get extra applications out of them. It's pretty fun. You don't actually have to do this cuticle pusher step. I'm just doing it because it's official. <laughs> I'm usually too lazy and I just use my thumb and call it a day. We'll, I'll be anxious to see if this um, application holds up even better than my usual ones since I'm you know, doing it the official way. Um, okay, so now I've done three. So this one is uh, pretty well cooled. Now there are two ways that you can go about this. Um, my favorite way, personally, is the nail file because I have uh, curvy nails, so clipping my nails is kind of hard for me. So you're going to take a coarse grain file, like the one that comes in our application kit. I'll turn off my mini heater. Um, and you're just going to hold it at a vertical angle and file in a downward motion, downward only. Not side to side, not up and down only down. And I've turned it so I'm going down on the side. And then you'll have a little piece that peels off. If your nails are long, sometimes it'll just fall right off, but mine are sticking to my skin because my nails are short. And go back and file one more time, just clean that up. I tend to finish with a buffing block too, just to um, kind of smooth it out a little bit, make sure there's no rough edges. Um, 
the other thing that people love in our deluxe toolkit, which I think I showed you earlier, is the glass file. The glass file is a very fine grain. Um, so a lot of people like to file with the glass file to finish to make sure that there's no rough edges. And you can't even see it right now because I'm out of the screen. <laughs> I'm so professional. Anybody can do this, girls. <laughs> You don't have to have any skills whatsoever. <laughs> so the last piece that I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn you back around. So to make sure that I've filed as much as I need to file, I'm just going to drag my nail down my t-shirt and make sure that nothing catches. And hooray, nothing was catching. So now I'm going to flip it back around to the mini heater. I'm going to heat one more time to seal that tip. Anytime you uh, file or clip the tip of your nails, which you can do periodically during the week if you feel like something is amiss, um, you do just a little bit of a file or a little bit of a clip, and then heat the tip one more time to seal it once you've disturbed it, and it should be good. So there you go. My nail is polished, dry to the touch. Annie Huttonlock is here. What up, girl? That was so ridiculous. Why do you talk to me? Anyway, <laughs> um, so I just finished applying um, my pinky nail, and I've done ring finger and middle finger, and I'm about to file those, but I will walk you back through. I think you've done these before, Annie. Is that true? You've, done, you've applied them before? Just leave me a comment or give me a thumbs up if you've tried it before. I know you've ordered, but... I, if you're like me, <laughs> I ordered, I want to say, two buy three get one freeze and then just let them sit in a drawer for like six months because I was too afraid to try them. And then my consultant, who is now my sponsor, called me out <laughs> and was like, what do you mean you haven't tried them? You're ridiculous. Try them now. So, um, so I went and tried them. So I don't know if you've actually tried yours. I'm hoping you have. I think you have. I feel like you sent me a picture. But I'm just, I'm not sure. So let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm just filing in my, in the downward motion to get that excess off of my ring finger. It's hard to do this on a table with a phone. <laughs> I might actually have to use my nail clippers on this one because my nails are so short. Can I say that one more time? My nails are so short. Now I'm all stuck to my finger. These do adhere really well, by the way. <laughs> so on this one, I'm just going to clip. Oh, yay! I'm glad you did try them. How did they work out for you, Annie? Did they last you a while? Did you find them easy to put on? Did you have any trouble? My first application took me like a million years, but now I'm a lot faster at it, which you wouldn't know right now by watching me do this. Are you multitasking, Annie? I consider multitasking trying to clip my nail and speak at the same time. So there we go. See, I don't tend to clip my nails because my curvy nails make it really difficult and my nails are also really thick so I find it very challenging to clip my nails and I'm actually still gonna file this one a little bit just because I don't trust myself to have gotten all of it <laughs> I can totally relate to the nail biting and picking Annie absolutely 100% <laughs> So you started picking at the wraps. Were they lifting or you were just, you just couldn't help yourself? Oh. <laughs> Kittens are great. I'm not a cat person. 
I'm sorry, but I am a kitten person, which is weird. <laughs> My roommate in college is absolutely a cat person, and she had two cats, not when we lived together, but um, we used to go to the pet store and play with the cats when <laughs> we were feeling stressed out. Which is funny because I'm allergic to them, but kittens don't seem to bother me, just the cats. So anyway, I finally finished filing that one. That one's like super short. I probably should have not filed them for ukulele length until after I was done doing my jams. I should have clipped them to ukulele length instead, but I hate clipping my nails. I hate it. So there you go. Two nails down. Should not take that long, people. <laughs> When you're not fumbling with a phone and um, a table in the way, I promise it goes a lot faster. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, so I will tell you, if you get it hanging over your skin a little bit, I'm going to turn you around, Annie, so I can see you. Well, I can't see you anyway, but you know what I mean. You can see me. Um, and you're not looking at the table. <laughs> um, if While you're applying them, if you notice that you have kind of misaligned it, just reheat it, peel it up and um, slowly, and uh, stick it back down in, in a place that works better. Let me see more of your comment. Yes, cats are great for people who are busy and gone a lot or working weird hours because they're so independent. People always used to tell me I should get a cat and I probably would have if I weren't allergic, but. <laughs> yes, you can reset your jams and that is one of the many things that I love about them because I'm so imperfect when it comes to doing my nails. Um, my husband actually told me I'm not allowed to polish my nails anymore because I get so angry because I'm constantly messing them up and I spend so much time on them and then I get frustrated because I'm like, ah, oh, I polished my skin, ah, oh, I smudged it, ah, oh, I forgot. So, um, so yeah, he told me I'm not allowed to, I'm not allowed to polish my nails anymore, so. <laughs> that was post-Jamberry too, even with Jamberry polish, I'm like an idiot, so. Jamberry polish does make it a little bit easier because it's self-leveling, but... I still am dumb, so. Um, so you can see, now that I'm not fighting with my table and my phone, that was a lot faster. Yes, <laughs> that's why we need Jamberry. And Annie, I promise tomorrow I'm gonna show you the coolest trick that is gonna let you, um, it's gonna like open up your whole life, I think. <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you how you can wear all these beautiful wraps even while you're working. I'm so sneaky. But you have to wait until tomorrow. Do my t-shirt test. Actually, I'm both of those. Yeah. That's pretty good. Do you do the t-shirt test? Drag your nail down the t-shirt to see if it um, catches on anything. And if it catches, then you just go back and refile. Super cool. Super important step. So there you go. I've done three of my nails now. That's probably good enough for this video. I don't want to make it too long for everybody to watch it, but um, but that's that's the application process. Um, I know that Annie, you were the only one who made it to the live um, video, and that's fine. It's like you know, nine o'clock on a weeknight. Um, I'm sorry I like left you without all the information, Annie. <laughs> Oh, I'm the worst. Are you in my VIP group? You need to be in my VIP group if you're not. Because I do post a lot of tips there. So definitely want to join that. I'll post a link to it in your party. Um, and I do like special giveaways and stuff in there too. So more jams for free. Um, so yeah, you'll have to wait until tomorrow for my sneaky tip. Um, but it sounds like it doesn't matter because you're going to have a couple weeks off from work anyway. So. Um, I don't know if you do, you don't do any freelance interpreting on the side. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like reading your comments on a delay, so that was for your whoop. <laughs> Here we go. So three down, seven to go. I'll let you know how long the other seven took.
while I'm not talking and trying to fumble with the live video and everything. So you can see. I'll post in the comments. Alright, so I'm going to let you go since it's, you know, 9.15 and my son is <laughs> in the background. He's probably almost ready to eat again. <sighs> Mother's work is never done. <laughs> Ah, CG Freelance. Okay. Campus job is flexible during summer hours. That's good. That's really good. Um, so, yeah. So, I will definitely give you an, a way that you can still keep those fun, funky colors while you're doing freelance interpreting. So, um, I'll pop on and show you that tomorrow in another live video. And I'm going to post a little bit more tomorrow. Today kind of got away from me. It was a little crazy. My son was in a bit of a mood today. So... The beauty and the curse of working at home. So, all right. I hope you have a great night, Annie, and I hope everyone else has a great whatever time of day it is um, when you watch this. And uh, post in the comments below if you have any questions, and I will show you my finished manicure very soon. All right. Have a good night. Bye. Thanks, Annie. See ya. <laughs>